Let's do some probabilities with and, which means we're also going to be talking about whether our events are dependent or independent. I'm Angie. Let's dive in with this first example. We're going to draw two cards from a standard 52 cards deck with replacement. We want to find the probability that they are both aces. So that probability translates into the probability of drawing an ace and an ace. So we're going to need a formula for and. But first, we've got to decide what with replacement means. With replacement means that when I go to draw the first card out of my 52 total, I'm going to draw it, but I'm going to put it back into my deck. So I start with my entire 52 cards for my second draw. Whatever I drew for the first card has no effect whatsoever on the second card. So these are independent events, all because of that with replacement. We want this form of the AND formula, which is the probability of A times the probability of B. Now with that 52 card deck, there are four aces and we're going to need that as we go through this probability. So I've got the probability of two events. So that's going to be two aces. So a probability of an ace, I'm going to use my and symbol there, and an ace. That's the probability of, I'll just use A for ace, times the probability of the second ace. Let's go ahead and take our deck of 52 cards and set up that first draw. So in that first draw, all four of my aces are in here. So I could choose any of the four out of 52. So we're going to go ahead and draw that first card, any four out of the 52. But this is with replacements. So we're going to put that card back into the deck, which means I've got my full deck of 52 cards. So when I go to draw a second ace, my denominator is still 52, and I still have all four aces in my deck. So I've got a four out of 52 again, and there's my second ace. If I calculate that, I get 0 0.0059, a really small probability. Converting that to a fraction, we end up with a probability of 1 over 169. Next, we're going to take a look at the same example, but without replacement. But first, if this is helpful at all, I would love it if you took a second to click that like button. Let's get to this example. Same example, but this time without replacement. We're going to need a variation of that AND formula because when I do this without replacement, I'm going to draw that first card out of the 52 and then I'm going to put it aside. So when I go to draw the second card, there are now 51 cards left. It changes what happens in my second draw, making these dependent events. Here is that variation. It's going to be the probability of A times the probability of B given that that first draw did happen. Let's take a look at what this means for our problem. When I go to draw that first ace, all four of them are in the deck out of 52 cards total. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that first card, but that first card gets set aside before I go to draw my second one. That means that there are only 51 cards now in my deck. I've taken out the ace of clubs, so there are only three aces left. So in my second probability, this probability of drawing that second ace, I end up with three left out of the 51. So that three out of 51 is the probability of getting that second ace given that the first one was an ace. If I do that computation, it's an even smaller probability, about 0 0.0045. Let's convert that one to a fraction. As a fraction, we end up with 1 over 221. Keep up the good work. I've got another video for you here.